Hello viewers, welcome back to our today's class and the topic of discussion is the lives and contributions of Kenyan leaders and today the Kenyan leader we're going to look at is Ronald Gideon Ngala. Now this is your tutor Roger Michira, ready to take you to that, through that lesson, welcome all and let us learn. Now class what do we expect by the end of the lesson? We do expect that we need to state or rather give an outlined contributions of uh, Ronald Gideon Gala. What are some of the political contributions, right? What contributions uh, did he make in the, in the Kenyan uh, political career? And also, we, we need to get to know about his early life, right? And his political career in the Kenyan politics. Welcome all and let us learn. So first, we need to know who, uh, who this Ronald, uh, Ronald Gideon Gala was, right? That is uh, Gideon, Gideon Gala, Ronald. Uh, and one thing you can get most that uh, he had that uh, cape like that of uh, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, that hat that he wore that was close to that of Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. Now, straight to his early life of Ronald Gideon Gala. Now, Gala was born in 1923 at Fishakani village, Kaloleni district of Kilevi district in Coast Province. Now, that is the year he was born, in the year 1923. But again, what of his education life, right? How, what of his educational career? Now, he received his education at uh, Bureto Primary School in Mombasa before attending Alliance High School. But again, if you can get to notice that a number of these uh, leaders attended, uh, attended Alliance High School, except uh, Moy, Daniel Moy, or however he was given an admission to Alliance, Right, but he did not. He opted to join uh, Capsabet. Right now, he attended Alliance High School after he graduated from uh, uh, Bureto Primary School in Mombasa. Now, from Alliance, he went and joined Makerele College, the the, the, the current now Makerele, Makerele University in Kampala, Uganda, where he graduated with a diploma in education. But again and again, one thing we have noticed about these uh, early early political leaders or early Kenyan leaders, a number of them. They were teachers, right? Talk of uh, Ngala, talk of uh, Jeramogi, right? Talk of Thomas Mboya, right? Talk of Mze, Mze, Mze Moy, right? Daniel Moy. Now, a number of them, uh, after graduating from high school, they went to college and did a diploma in education. Now, Ronald Ngala taught at Boston uh, primarily as a headmaster, which later he became the supervisor of schools in Mombasa. Now from uh, the headmaster, he moved to being a regional coordinator or a supervisor of schools in Mombasa. Now can you to look at his political career, right? What are some of his contributions to the political, the political arena of the Kenyan politics? Now he began, uh, he began organizing political rallies in Coast Province soon after the state of emergency was declared. So after 1952, when the state of emergency was declared, that is when uh, Ronald Ngala started to organize political rallies. Now, in 1957, he was elected the treasurer of African Elected Members Organization, that is AMO. And we get to notice that a number of, uh, there, 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 there also a number of, of leaders who were elected to the IM, talk of Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, talk of Thomas Mboya, talk of uh, B.A. Ohanga from South Nyanza. Now, their treasurer was Ronald Gideon Gala. Now, Ngala and other leaders from the minority group, uh, communities formed CADU, Kenya Organization uh, Association, Association of Democrat, uh, Democratic Union, that is Kadu, in 1960. He was elected the president of the new party. Now, remember, Kadu was formed as a result of, um, of uh, these minority groups to counter these uh, majority groups, right? Now, Kadu mostly comprised of minority communities. Now, during the 1962 Lancaster House Conference, Kadu and Angala uh, praised for Majimbo or regional government while he can advocate for a strong unitary government. So this, this issue of uh, devolved government, the Majimbo system, it can be dated back to 1962. And the people who are for this Majimbo or rather regional government was Kanu, right? But again, Kanu advocated for a strong unitary government. Kanu led by, led by 
Mzee Jomo Kenyatta, he was against this regional, regional, regional government. But again, regional government is what we have now, right? We have regions. We have the Western region, right? We have the Nyasa region, we have the, the Nairobi region, the, the, the coast region. This is what uh, Ronald Ngala advocated for in the Majimbo system. But again, in the 1962 uh, Langas House Conference, Kadu and Angala uh, passed the Majimbo, Majimbo government, as you have said. That is, that is Ronald Ngala among other members, for example, we had Jaramogi Uginda, we had, we had uh, B.A. Oanga, we had Thomas Mboya, who were members of the CADU, right? And they advocated for the Majimbo or regional government. Now, in the last general election towards Kenyan independence in May 1963, Ngala became the leader of opposition uh, of CADU. Remember, the opposition, uh, the opposition was led by Ngala because Kano won the elections, right? Kano won the elections and and Gala became the leader of opposition party, which is Kadu. Now, Ronald Ngala died after a road accident caused by a sting of, uh, uh, from a bee on the Nairobi Mombasa Highway on December 1972. And again, his death also uh, uh, evoked emotions whereby he was thought that he was, uh, he was assassinated because most of these leaders who died were, were thought of being assassinated by the existing government. Now, and this again evoked a number of emotions, process in a protest in, in Mombasa County from Nyasa and all those minority communities. Now, I've, now that we have looked at the political contribution of Ronald Ngala, can we get to state which year Ronald Ngala was elected as the treasurer of AEMO? And when did he get to join AEMO? For reference, get to refer to Evolving World, History and Government, Form 3, Oxford University Press, the seventh edition, and as always, the station you're watching is Elimu TV, your favorite learning station where we all get to watch and learn.